Tammy is having one of those days and her car just won't cooperate. Without any towing coverage, she decides to seek help nearby, but she doesn't want passers-by to think her car is abandoned. That's why she never leaves home without the safety wrapper. Bill and Walter's all-day hike through a remote park hasn't turned out as planned. An ill-advised turn off the trails, a bad step by a stream, and now they struggle to get back to civilization. With no phone signal to call for help, Bill decides to make his own signal. Three easy-to-carry safety wrappers quickly become a chance for our lost and weary hikers to signal for help and get back to their families. Amanda and David, newly married with so much ahead of them. What time should I call for the pizza? Don't worry about the pizza tonight, hon. I'm bringing home the big one. Good luck. Be safe. David, like most hunters, prefers to camouflage himself, but he takes particular pride in being able to blend into the environment almost completely. But blending in is not without its dangers. Very often, more than one person is hunting in the same area, while animals have their own natural camouflage. Without a bright color to contrast with the surroundings, any movements a person makes can easily be taken for those of a wild animal. If another hunter does not know someone is there, the mistake can be costly. For yourself and for those you love. The simple solution is the safety wrapper. A blaze orange, water resistant and self-adhesive strip. Simply unroll, peel away the backing at the ends and wrap it around the closest tree for maximum visibility. If another hunter doesn't see you, they will see the safety wrapper and know someone is nearby. Told ya. The safety wrapper. Because at the end of the day, it's good to come home safe.